Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I've got an interesting video for you. I know we couldn't do a uh, weekly salt ration, so uh, we're going to have a bit of a not so much salt, uh, but definitely we're going to be asking some questions in this match. Uh, mainly, where the heck is my team and what the heck are they doing? Now we are in the tier 7 Japanese battleship, the Amagi. Now you guys know that I do a pretty regular rotation of all my battleships. I do like to play the Jean Bart, the Richelieu, the Amagi, the Iowa, and the Alabama. Not so much with the uh, Bismarck and Turpets, but, but you know. And then my British battleships, occasionally I'll jump in the uh, Nelson or the Monarch or the, um, the Hood. Not so much the Vanguard. Anyway, so I like to run a rotation. I like to play a little bit of everything just to have some fun, mix it up for you guys because I know you guys don't want to see the same videos over and over again. Um, but we're going to be on Greece and its domination. Now notice that both teams have four destroyers on each side and absolutely no cruisers. This is a nightmare scenario for a battleship. Now you'll notice that I had high explosive loaded and that was because I was fighting some... Uh, very, very, uh, you know, destroyer-esque targets in the last match, because destroyers seem to be the name of the day today. And of course there are no cruiser players playing, because why would there be cruiser players playing? It's all destroyers and battleships. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. However, we're going to have some of the worst RNG on the planet, and yet we are going to have a very good game for what we get. Uh, sometimes, as the game plays, you're just not going to get a lot of uh, help from your team. Now, you'll see right off the bat, I am overwhelmed on this side. It is me, there are several battleships in the area, but none of them seem to be shooting at the guys straight out in front of me. Uh, they're all shooting at other targets. Now, I have three battleships spotted currently to the left. We have a destroyer, obviously, in B, and there's obviously more than one destroyer. So, they're probably all over the place. We're detected. We're going to try to back off. A second destroyer has been detected. Uh, third, actually, three of the four destroyers are now known where they are. One is in B and just finished capping B. One is in A, and one is in C. So, we know where three of the four destroyers are. Speaking of which... Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, so far we have had literally no luck. Finally get a decent hit uh, on the enemy Amagi. But uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about this ship, but some days it is on it, and some days it is absolutely just horrendous to play. So it's unfortunate, but it is a thing. Now we do take a shot at the Yudashi there, and he is going to uh, take a hit takes two hits actually one full penetration one partial pin or one over pin and we are going to try to avoid the majority of these torpedoes now unfortunately I turn a little bit too early and catch one of them there was a nice gap there that we could have fit the ship in but we catch one right on the nose and of course we take basically full damage 13,000 damage um, which is something that has annoyed me from the get-go with World of Warships Legends. Um, it doesn't matter where you take torpedoes. You try to hit the torpedo belt, it doesn't matter. Anywhere you take torpedoes on your ship, you almost always take next to full damage. Uh, that was a Japanese torpedo capable of hitting me for like, what, 20, 21,000 damage. He hits me for 13. Now, yes, that's 7,000 left, but 13,000 damage is more than battleships get citadels with. And it's with, I mean, they get to launch them every minute, and it's guaranteed damage if you hit something. Like, at least when I shoot things with my battleship, there's a chance that I do next to no damage. <laughs> like, I mean, I could miss every single shot. And it's nothing to do with my aiming. I could hit a target perfectly and get literally no damage out of it. But as you can see, we are burning twice. We have uh, good shots again, and unfortunately not just, just not able to pull it off. Now, I've called for help uh, multiple times in this match, uh, trying to get some people to help me. But as you can see, my team is not having any of it. And our only destroyer left on the far left side is getting overrun. 
and rather than fall back and try to do what he can to hold them off, he's gonna stand and fight and die. Which I can respect, but it's really not a good play. And down he goes. You gotta know when you're beat. You, you have to know when you're beat. And there the Amagi finally gets some RNG in our favor and absolutely gets nuked. And then the Benson that died manages to hit him. And we avoid, narrowly avoid, the Amagi's high explosive, which would have almost certainly set a fire while we had 40 seconds left on our damage control cooldown. Now we've used all of our heals. We only have 18,000 hit points and there's a lot of more guys out there. Now the enemy is going to be capping C in the near future. They are capping B right now. And unfortunately my entire team is off gallivanting to the edge of the map and God knows what they're actually doing. I cannot sit here and fight the entire enemy team by myself. I don't have the hit points, don't have the armor. It's just not a good thing that I can do. So I need to start kiting away. Now, luckily, the Amagi is uniquely equipped for kiting away. It's got very good armor. Uh, it does have a tendency to get punched in the mouth quite a bit, but it also has six guns over the rear of the ship, plus the four guns in the front. So we have the unique ability to do some serious damage while running away. Uh, now we are going to try to regroup with our team. We have currently lost the lead in points. They are about to take a second cap and that means we are going to be losing on points from here on out. But as you can see, we are able to recover some more health. So we're going to go ahead and do that as soon as we can. There we go. We're going to start recovering health. That is our last heal of the game. And uh, there's an Iowa out here who's just like, you know what? I'm going to sail broadside to God and everybody. What could go wrong? It's in Iowa, who's broadside? Wait for it. Pow! <laughs> All of his health just disappeared. Now, that was a good third of his health, probably. Only a single Citadel. But at least we're starting to get some damage. Because it's looking pretty sketchy on whether I'm not going to be able to... Or whether or not I'm going to be able to do much. I'm not getting any help from my teammates, so I have no choice but to bring the fight to them. If your team isn't going to go to the fight, bring the fight to the team. Uh, so I am just going to kite away as best I can. Uh, obviously, we've got torpedo threats out there. There are still three destroyers on one team and zero destroyers on ours. Well, one, but you can see his positioning is not perfect. Uh, we take a shot at the Fletcher. It's a shot in the dark. Hopefully, he'll keep sailing. Can we fit it over the island? No, unfortunately not. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? Now, Iowa has popped out from behind his island. We have a Leon in chase. There was a, uh, uh, what, uh, a St. George? <laughs> a King George V out there. But I'm still trying to get rid of this Fletcher. I want to see if I can get him off the board. Now, I was hoping he was going to charge out into the middle of this because there's a chance, not a very big chance, but a chance that I can slip around through that gap. And if I can, I could potentially knock him out of the fight. But apparently he knows this too because he slows down just enough. And unfortunately, all of our, our rounds would have missed by hitting the uh, island anyway. It's unfortunate and I just got the worst case of hiccups ever. Sorry. But, as you can see, my team is literally and utterly useless. I have one guy coming back to help as I'm kiting away. I'm still firing at the enemy. We are dealing damage to the enemy as we get the opportunity. It doesn't always work out, but as you can see, very good hit there on the Leon. I don't know how Leons and other French battleships get away with it. I'll be real honest. No other battleships in the game can get away with being that broadside. None! But the French have magic armor, and for whatever reason, their magic armor keeps them from being citadeled into oblivion, which is obnoxious as crap because, guess what? They hit you, and it's Citadel City. I don't understand it. I don't understand how they can be that broadside and not just get obliterated by battleships. But they do. And those were 410, or yeah, 410 millimeter guns hitting the broadside of a tier six French battleship while he's broadside, you know, he's broadside on, just giving it to him. 
This is the same guns that just a moment ago took a third of the health from a tier 7 modern battleship and I can't kill a freaking tier 6 French battleship. That's just the way RNG goes sometimes. Now, we're about to start with our troll of the week. We are not going to be able to get consistent damage in these next few seconds here. It's just frustrating because I feel like I'm trying to win this match. R regardless of the outcome so far, I am actively trying to put up a fight and trying to win this fight. However, the one guy that came over to assist me has now turned away. He's going to sail off into the sunset, and I don't think he ever fires his guns ever again until the very end of the match. And this was incredibly frustrating. And one of the reasons why I've had to take and unplug my mic. I'm no longer in game chat, guys, so I apologize. If you end up in a game with me and you want to say something, I'm not going to hear you. So I apologize. But I can't afford to get into trouble because my mouth is running. So I would rather have my mouth running when I'm not not in game chat. Because I can run my mouth all the, all the, all the time. But uh, yeah, watch this. King George takes a pretty decent hit here and we take him down to a little over half health. Now we are sitting incredibly vulnerable to this King George right now. And if he decides to shoot armor piercing, we are going to be in a bad way. We only have 21,000 health, 22,000 health. But our Synop that came over here to help us is now kiting away, which is like the worst positioning for a Synop that you can be in. Uh, we get a very good salvo here again taking them below half health now and again It's just like I keep asking for help and of course one of these just has to hit perfectly Unfortunately, you knew it was coming. It was good It was only a matter of time before you take torpedoes while you're sitting here trying to fight the entire enemy team basically solo um, I've requested help multiple times trying to get people to please shoot something and I don't know what they're aiming at, but by God, it's not the King George, who's low health, who's broadside. I don't know what they're doing. And I can't, I can't take the luxury of actually looking. Now, we're up to 138,000 damage right now. It's just a matter of time before these guys finish me off. King George is firing armor piercing, and we try to do a pretty good job. We are actually bouncing rounds, and he's just flat out missing. So we're not the only one being trolled by H or by RNG, but you can see broadside King George takes all of the 410 millimeter guns and what does he get? He gets a blown up turret. Well done. That's fantastic for me. And of course the Iowa finishes me off. Not a whole lot I could do about that. Now there's a second Synop who has entered the, the fight, but what has he been doing this whole time? Like, I'm not joking. These guys are literally here and they are both firing at the Iowa, I'm assuming because they have not fired at this freaking King George yet. Now the King George is the easiest kill in the book right now. He's broadside to you. You've got all the penetration you could ever ask for. Should be no problem, right? Except there are torpedoes in the way and you are dead. Luckily, before he died, he got off the salvo that finally gets rid of the King George. However, it's too little too late. Our team has no chance of winning this fight. The only two battleships left have really not contributed much of anything. Now, I will say this, this guy ends up with two kills, but you'll see where he places on the leaderboard after this is over. Remember, he's a tier six ship in a tier seven battle and he gets two kills, which means in theory, he should have XP bonuses, which means the amount of damage that that guy must have done to end up in the place that he ends up in is mind-bogglingly low. And then you got this Colorado. <laughs> Colorado gets extremely lucky being broadside on to an Iowa, which is some place you never want to find yourself, ever, <laughs> in any battleship, let alone a Colorado. But he gets away with it because only I get punished for making mistakes. Everybody else gets away with everything. <laughs> It's just the way that goes. But as you can see, the enemy has captured two of the three, almost got the third. There's nothing doing for these guys. They're just sailing in circles a minute to go in the match. There's no chance that they win this match unless they somehow pull off a miracle kill. Uh, and unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. Uh, 
Colorado gets trolled on a little bit of dispersion here against the Iowa and then decides to turn his attention saying screw the Iowa he's got too much health he's he's angled I'm not able to do any damage to him maybe I'll just start shooting at the Gneisenauer the Gneisenauer just captured A he gets the guns off and watch the Gneisenauer's health in this fight now watch it seriously this is what the Colorado is capable of doing even to a very tanky battleship like the Gneisenauer Watch his health. Yeah, look at that. Now, if only these guys had been shooting the entire game. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Now, obviously, I'm being a little facetious because of my situation and being trolled to death by, by the uh, RNG not allowing me to get damage on people for whatever reason. But I'm going to blame it on the fact that it's a Japanese battleship. But we get 1,600 base XP, and you can see the Colorado and Sinop, who are left on the team, barely breaking 1,000 XP as bottom-tier battleships who survived the battle, which means they basically contributed nothing, even though the guy got two kills. You can see he didn't do much damage based on XP. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is a lesson in trying to survive as long as possible, fighting to the inevitable end, regardless of how bad your team is. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.